Yeah, breakfast of champions. Not how the New York Times saw it, but I've been planning the It's Not You, Baby, It's Me speech anyway. We stay in touch, trade candid webcam shots. They still want me. But now I'm a free man, baby, swimming in pills, pussy, and dreams of Pulitzers. No more of that human interest shit, not unless it involves horns and a forked tail. So I've been following a dead man around the world. Brit, by the name of Theodore Wicker, the Crowley of Soho. He was looking for hell with a capital H. If he'd hung around, I could have given him pointers. Afghanistan, Liberia, Baghdad, Chechnya, Brooklyn. But he came here to East Bumfuck, Maine in 87. Not a great year for fashion and a terrible year for wicker. Booked up in room 13, never seen again. Then this roach trap went under and nobody's touched it for a quarter of a century. You know, yeah, my man found what he came for. So did I. The Pope was right. Hell is real and it's not other people. This place is a door. That room is the lock. And the merry shit going down here is the key. This is the place. So pathetic for something so portentous. I can feel the other side is close, so close. I saw it in the motel owner's eyes, glazed with fear and suffering. Offerings have been poured out on this ground, soaked through to the foundations, covered over with a minimum of effort, an Illuminati hallmark. The room stinks of inevitability. Of all the damned lives I have ended, this final sacrifice is the most deserving. I hold up to you, Sakharissa, the heart of Theodore Wicker. My preparations were flawed. In rendering my body able to survive the hell dimensions, I have made myself sick among humans. Each climate brings a new fever. I retch at the touch of sunlight on my skin. My dietary requirements extreme. I am become some Victorian storybook monster. And no crossing point, no portal will do. I travel the world searching a, a, a leper, a prodigal. This one won't do, and this one won't do. It must be fresh. Exposed. I am driven. Sakharissa waits at the border. I see those shores aflame when I sleep. I see them when I am awake. I look out at this city's dismal shapes, BT Tower blinking feebly in a sky of unfinished grey wash. I cast no reflection. The glass feels alien to the touch. I will not miss this place, no more than I regret the sacrifices I have made. Or those yet to come. Do not plead, do not rage, I should say. For your language means so little to us. Oh, Sakharissa. It's true. Everything is true. Mankind and demonkind lived as one. All my work has led me to this, and yet, still, it changes everything. They were right to suppress this history, man and demon both, for its magnificence is fracturing. My mind is stripped naked by the possibilities. The historian's curse is to forever be on the outside, looking in on former glories trapped in amber. What if one had the means to return them? What if one had the will to do it?
In summary, we too blithely dismiss it as an unnatural disaster, uh, an aberration, a realm of theatrical fire and brimstone. If you would truly understand the hell dimensions, consider it a starving dog, maddened, rabid, with an unfulfilled desire for life, our life, life on Earth. We use that as a bargaining point. I put it to you that this exploitation disgraces us all. We look at the demon and we see only spit on the mirror of our world, not the reflection itself. Can't keep away, eh? Looks like you got the same Jones in as me. And let me tell you, until it got its hooks in, I didn't do obsession. Even my ADD has ADD. It's where I get my edge. And the fast food. They keep me real fast. No good now. Once you see that place, you've stared at the sun. Close your eyes and it's imprinted on your retinas. Deserts on fire, sky like an open mouth, twisted goddamn creatures with a terrible fucking beauty. It's poetic. I hear them when I sleep, or sometimes when I'm awake. They know all our names and all our bullshit. How to rub an ego and stop just short of climax. They say they'll be my muse, my masterpiece, my Pulitzer, all access, all coke and BJ's. Dante never had it so good. It's way past too late for me. Room's coming apart. Guess Wicker clocked out. I can feel it all like a scab picked away to the mess beneath. But there's still time for you to do your thing, whatever that is. And hey, uh, you see my old editor on the other side. Tell her we'll do lunch soon. Oh, sweet deliverance. You have come. Help us. Please deliver us from our enemies. Time is running out. Beware these hellish instruments. Your life, your sweet, virginal life, it is fuel to them. Don't expect a safe footing in the heat of the slag pit. The foundry brute is king. Hurry, come to me. Before the demon army sends you out, they loathe all Wicker has done. And you also. Once, all was perfect. Like you. But it was left to rot in the vile glass house of its planters. So cruel. Spiteful heart. Nuclear mistress. This one's eunuchs are taught to crave an explosive union. Your world is bleeding. Bleeding anima. This war machine is its vampire. Protected by the portal's power. Separate them. Kill it. Be our savior. Be our savior. Sakarissa, you came for me, I presume. I wouldn't want to seem ungrateful, but emotion is a phantom itch now. We are not of the same species, you and I. I have no nostalgia for Earth. I cut it out. My body rejected it. Do you know... It was the soul I stripped away, which allowed me to commit such awful crimes. Psychopathy is a quite human trait. Now I am beyond the cage of humanity. I am rarefied. This dimension has worked a great alchemy on me. And in return, I mean to restore it to greatness. 
Every petrified forest must start from a single manganese seed. You're feeling short of breath. The atmosphere is oxidizing your blood, turning it to metal. In my realm, that which does not make you stronger kills you. Go back to your world. Go back with my thanks. When present matters are concluded, I'll see to it that the rifts are welded closed. You have my word. You. Me. On a beach of razor fossils. The vultures of Lang plucking your nerve endings like a fabulous instrument. Call me sometime. Listen. Can you hear it, monkey, building all around you? In the cannibal hymn of insects, in the whine of the flesh-stripping sandstorm, in the cry of zephyrs over jagged rocks. It is the howling, where I came from, where I am forbidden to return. It strains against the divide, like the wind batters a mighty dune. You should know that two pretenders war for control of the once great demon tribes. One is an ape that thinks itself profound. In your world, it was called Wicker. I owe this Wicker a debt, so I offer it up to you. I see in time, in little time, a figurehead toppled and their army left to eat itself. The victor claims the howling, at least for a short eternity. But that will not sate them. They will cross the divide and claim what is left of Gaia. She is already imperiled enough with defenders such as your kind. As we speak, I see Wicker encircled by fire. The circle is tightening. Act or do not act. I leave you to exercise your vaunted free will. Should I fall? You will not. Remember my words. Let my execution be a mere footnote to your cathedrals of industry. The civil war can still be ceased, my kin. If not ceased, then you must put it to an end. You are persistent in clinging to life. Make for higher ground, or the storm will strip you to your shadow. My attackers, I warn you, would consider that a merciful torture. This is the only path to the plateau. Some scavenge the ruins for a means to rebuild, others for the very weapons that brought ruin upon them. These engines are dangerous opponents. Carnage is their existence, their fuel. Without violence, their alloy veins would seize. This was not your fight. However, geography has conspired to place you between Hammer and Anvil. Hold this ground against the siege, and I shall work the gate's hydraulics. Such silence in the eye of the storm. The defenses are lowered. You are free to... Join me above, quickly. A power is come upon us. Take shelter. This gale would disintegrate you. Protect yourselves! Assassins, earn your place atop the Nine Houses. Bring me the one in White's head. Come closer. Flesh is simple enough to repair. A lesson learned. Never send killers to do a soldier's errand. 
I empower you, demon, to a short and brutal life. Oh, I'll make you feel the agonies of the cosmos. I'll find your bargained heart and eat it. Protect yourselves! When we cross each other again, ape, your city will lie in dust! I had hoped to reach a more diplomatic solution than martyrdom. But I forgive them. Aggression is all demons have known. They are abandoned children, feral children, grown spiteful with longing for what they cannot possess. They glimpse your world through the cracks. They are summoned and prostituted by gutter mages, amateurs, who know nothing of these iron shores. So you see, Contrary to popular literature, it is humanity that corrupted demon kind. Irony as bitter as machine oil. I dedicated myself to raising these dire devices. I have been tireless. There is no day, nor night, nor the passing of seasons here. Time itself withered and died. I... And those with the courage to believe in my ideal have worked factory eons to rebuild. This city, it is my monument. It is our age's beacon. And in its awesome light, no demon shall look upon itself and be wanting. You understand how this rebellion threatens everything. I have shown them we can manufacture paradise, yet still they lust for Earth. I bid you adieu. Like you, it was a season past, or maybe twenty-five winters. A man comes searching, searching for the old traveler's rest. Inside, he makes circles of chalk and salt. He seeks to open the hole that screams in the world, the place of starved cities. He comes to my bridge. Wicker he is. I am fond of riddles, and he riddles me. Wicker disguises his words to seem no wiser than man should be. <sighs> he grows tired of this game much before I do. Then Wicker speaks in the oldest tongue. He has cut it to his own mouth to allow these sounds. I show him fossil warnings, stories of stones. It is the truth of what he seeks. He will not hear it. In his mind is an age that never truly existed. 
I tell him the hole has healed over with new soil. I tell him I am made of earth and cannot lie. I do not tell him I learn to lie from man. Our story ends there, yes. I do not think the story of Wicca has. My kin, for me you turn away from violent natures. Now violent natures have come to us. Sheol is screaming. So I turn back to you, and I stand amongst you in these burning streets. And together, we shall unwind this age of cruelty forever! Down here, do not present yourself so eagerly to the enemy's snipers. Yours are the first human eyes to witness Sheol's since before time was time. It would be ignoble to have them shot out. The siege must fall before the city does. We march to meet them at the atomic front. You, possessing guile, would be better advised to travel behind the battle lines. Sheol is alive. It builds upon itself, cannibalizes itself. Where it has been wounded, caustic antibodies escape. I believe those foundations, old growth, have escaped the attention of our invaders. These foundries were to cast our future, but they are turned on us. Release this molten-skinned forge master. I counsel evasion, not just for your sake. Too many profound creatures have already been lost. The power relay. Our enemy could choose no more strategic nor melodramatic vantage point. Go. We shall meet at the summit, I trust. How very human. Unable to resist an invitation to your own autopsy. Your race doomed itself. I'm simply ushering you over the cusp of insignificance. We bred Hell's army to serve. And serve me they shall. Iblis! You don't belong here! <laughs> Look who's talking! Enough! It is beyond enough. We end this in ashes or as ashes. Each time we force you apes back down the evolutionary tree, an angel gets its black wings. No shelter! Not even death! Weak flesh! Despised by angels, resented by demons. I apologize for this rude awakening to how alone and friendless man truly is in a pitiless universe. From its very formation, the universe has been unfair. It tends towards everything in its place, hates an overachiever, and what defines mankind, if not the need to commit great works? and to be made to suffer for them. The city is ruined in its death throes. Entire demon tribes are decimated. Senseless slaughter to what end? It's over, Sakharissa. No hard feelings, Chief. It was fun. 
but you have won. So be gracious in victory. Treasure the home you can still return to. Protect it from the human stain of petty rivalries. Or this shall be your future. Rust and vultures. Never come back to this place. Tell them that you saw the Hell Dimensions were lost in entropy. Tell them that Wicker is gone. A foolish man. My kin, do not come before me abject. Raise your proud and terrible heads. I will find you another world. A better world. Where angels fear to tread, and man is a cautionary tale.